Okay, I'm not gonna have a lot of magic due to having minus one, but I'm gonna try anyway. A mild dark season. That means it's basically another fire season. Birds, crops, that didn't want to trade. Not health, war. Ah, well, women that kidnap uh, Sartark and Maniski five seasons ago have come to talk, each of the baby, which they claim is the child of the man. The men of the Blue Wing clan are unusually fertile, they laugh. When we do this, we are not usually left this way. They, then they become serious. We could raise these babies out as outlaws, but they would be exposed to bad weathers and the hazards of our way of living. Since they are half Blue Wing, we thought they would give you the chance to take them in instead. a story about this once, if only we had written it down. Sure. Wait a minute, uh, just let the matter rest. Jeez. Stop your frickin' whining, it's not like they had a choice. Okay. Time to quest. The Malgarts is dead. Let's go on, uh, the Nari, I guess. Strengthen our fortifications. Okay, this is actually a hard one, and we might lose this guy. Okay, Orlanth leaves on his great quest, and ML remains to protect the stead against the forces of chaos. The Eater of Skin, a chaos monstrosity, comes singing the rending songs which makes people bleed. These are all random, it seems. Song of Comforting Valor? The song wounded the creature which made strangled birds which forced the end of its own chaotic eating. It slashed through Gerso's bag and tore his innards from him. Ow. Let it step on you in order to gain leverage and throw it far away. Yep, it was never seen again. Ow, he lost a leg. Uh, only after he has defeated the creature did the people of the Storm Tribe see that the fight has broken Garstarl into pieces. They wail in despair. Our defender is gone. Look to the worship worshippers uh, back in the ritual ground. Do to help Garstarl knit himself back together. They give their tears. Knit them back together with and everyone, everyone uh, whether from the Blue Tribe or the Storm Tribe, rejoiced. More chaos enemies come, and Nyx is the author of sores, who causes wounds to fester. Now, lance her with your spear. Shook and held, we muck ooze from the creature's body and fell upon Garstal's melting whatever flesh it touched. Ow. Uh, Buffet her with the wind of her lance sword. Sores groan, her sores closed up, but she did not like this. The sores were the source of her power. She caused the skin of Garso's legs to pop up the, so that he could hardly stand. Club back, uh, chop at her legs. Dreer caused the scalp to crawl from Garso's head and then bite him as if it were a rabid animal. Garso had sliced off its lower limbs and the author of swords died and the people rejoiced. Chaos Invader, the people of the Storm Tribe could see that the fight had broken him into pieces yet again. And his arm is over here. Give your tears, please. The maker of bad growth, who says, I will slay you by causing the soft parts inside you to multiply like maggots so that they will burst you open like a too full sausage. Let the wind of Orlan's sword make him small. Bad growth shrank until small and leapt up into his mouth. Gustav bit it hard, hurting it while it flooded his mouth with a bitter, pungent taste. Maker of bad growth then burrowed its way out again through the back of Garstall's neck. Ow. Run about him on a hollowed horse until he becomes dizzy. He became dizzy, its brain turned to pink ooze and dripped out its ears. It jumped on top of Garstall's horse, smothering him. But then its head was emptied of brains and the creature expired. The people shouted joy and relief. Give your tears, please. Thank you. This is the hardest part. Well, 
guarding the stud the next day, Garstar was approached by a lost love. It's fake. Fake. So Garstar, the lover, says, You once loved me, but I was unfaithful to you. You were wrecked with sorrow, but that made you weak. Because of me, the upstart god Orlanth was able to beat you and steal your pride. Now the world is dark, and you are the only remaining light. I see the error of my ways. I have come to restore my love to you and restore your pride. Come with me, for I have made a safe place for the two of us. Leave these barbarians, and we will hide away until the darkness ends. Once did not steal my pride, he awakened it. So old love revealed itself as a chaos creature, the teller of lies, and said, Curse your eternal steadfastness, am all. In frustration, it departed. The next day, Amal is approached by a blind oracle known as the Storm... Uh, known to the Storm Tribe. Garstal, Garstal, he wills. Your master Orlanth is a good... Is as good as slain, defeated in the land of the dead. It's Gustav, an image of his king, trapped in a pit, unable to escape. You must uh, take Orlanth's place as king of the Storm Tribe. Orlanth, Orlanth's day is done. Without a king, your beloved Storm Tribe will wither and die. Some members of the Storm Tribe flock to Gar Garstal's side, offering him the crown. And, uh... This oracle is false. Unmasked once more, the Teller of Lies could do nothing but slink away. So on those, the Teller of Lies again will return again, so he makes preparations. Indeed, someone does come the next day in the form of the Emperor. What does Gustar will do? now too. Uh, the soul. And uh, yes, this is what it says. That. Well, this is so pleased and hungry that it devoured the horse Garstal had given him, but Garstal had tricked it. The horse was not his soul. But also Garstal in his bright entirety. But was also Gustav in his bright entirety. Now Gustav was inside the Teller of Lies. I could see inside the Chaos Servant was nothing. It, its ever-shifting forms masked only emptiness. Armed with this knowledge, Emel tore it apart from the inside, using the sharpened edges of the Shield of Orlanth. The Shield Orlanth had given him. The Teller of Lies revealed as nothing was destroyed. So it returns to the land. Next expected our fortification they had mount, we found they had been strengthened by Emel's hand. Heavily armed delegation from the Colmar tribe comes here to Tula to demand tribute from you. We have a tribe, you are just a clan, says. You're strong, give us nine cows. Uh, to drive off this delegation, let alone defeat the full Colmar raiding party. But the Kalmar tribe aren't good enough for our glorious Sputum. To make a reputation for great deeds and wise leadership, they will reject us if we ask to join them. They want nine cows? We can afford frickin' nine cows. There you go. The Carls protested bitterly for weeks. They're just nine cows! It's better. Once, well, let me show you something here. Let's turn on tribes. That Hillhaven, Elkenval, Rakistani, Rior, and Kendaloy. All these people are the Kalmar tribe. It's all of them. One, two, three, four, five. Tri five different clans make up a tribe. This tribe. Until we are higher on that Kingmaker scale, we can't actually make a tribe ourselves. But we should be higher now that I've uh, done another hero quest. And especially since it was our official hero quest. Hopefully the uh, fortification improvements will help too. I'm gonna hope that they'll be better and defend us better. <sighs> it's 
that's my hope anyway. So let's not bother raiding for now. Uh, yes, let's uh, try to go to the Badger Clan. Buy a treasure. 19 horsemen and 188 spearmen. Drive them off, skirmish please. Please work. Drove them off. We captured a horse. And we lost them. They barely took any losses compared to us, but we did keep them from stealing our stuff. Three wounded weapon things. at uh, Badger Tula. They're clan ring and cults and you can see Vargas is the ring. It keeps our warriors happy and makes it easier to recruit weapon things. Happy warriors is a good thing. Hmm. I don't think it's that important though. And we haven't had really had trouble recruiting weapon things, honestly. We don't need that many. If that if we were a war clan, that would be more useful. Fourteen weapon uh, yep, yep, like a billion jillion people. They had to charge through missile fire, because I like archers. One of the Wildcat Warriors has broken through your lines and is cutting a bloody swath through your forces. Although he has taken many small wounds, they're not slowing down in the least. It's clear he's a devotee of Urox and a, bers and a berserk killing frenzy. He still finds himself nearby. Uh, face the Berserker one-on-one. -on -one. Gigastarl and the Wildcat Berserker a wide berth as they faced off. The Roxy swung first, Gigastarl swung faster and gave him a wound. It seemed to have no effect. The Berserker continued to swing up and over the figure eight motion, catching it back, ow, the back of Gigastarl's neck with his axe, sending the head flying. Ooh, there goes that guy. Lost a noble. Decapitation. Nephew of adultery. Uh, could they have done it? They agreed they had been acting furtively, and Doranda had long been withholding the affections from her affections from Gustand. Gustand would be her husband. Interrogate them. Claim their innocence. There was something about the way they said it that aroused Karash's suspicions. innocent then, but we, we just lost a lot of clan magic. <laughs> like eight! Wow! Amazing. I, I didn't want to use one clan magic, but apparently we were, uh, I was in the wrong there. Always conduct a divination, I guess. That'll learn me. Uh, who owes us favors? Ask for magic. Oh, there we go. Not you. You go. You ask for magic. That should put us above negative one. We have plenty of goods now. How many horses do we have? Thirty-seven. Horses, sell goods, large, no weapon things, 34. Custom! There we go, three magic. Isotarian, a small stead holder, accuses Fentaro, neighbor of the Wildcat clan, of moving their boundary stones between the pastures. Fentaro denies this, complains that the is trying to use the clan chief to steal from him. Uh, I don't really care about the Wildcats, they're jerks. Just take a dang cow and go away. This is a 
good one. Unfortunately, the sacred time rituals we had little effect. 80 cows worth of goods, 23 horses. So, now we have that many horses. Okay, we're good. I really should... I should have formed a defensive line against that Berserker. That guy was really useful. Oh, well. At least I have a couple more Humaki and an Uroxy. I haven't had one of those guys before. You are my second strongest combat guy. I betcha I could increase my Urax shrine now. No? Okay. Give me Smite Chaos, please. Thank you. Mess returns once again, demanding tribute on behalf of the Kalmar tribe. Twenty cows. No. Be back to knock some sense into us. Nope, not giving you twenty cows. Okay, we're gonna go for a Berserker here. Umat, can you give me True Sword, please? Tall young warrior of the Black Rock switches to marry Inthoya, daughter of the chief. He's come from Fistivos Black Rock Law Fistivos Black Rock Lawspeaker to help plead his case. If we might forge an alliance, I would be proud to have my daughter's marriage provide the spark. Uh, Twenty cows. Uh, for the generous bride gift. Yay, 20 cows. 1,020 cows now. And we have True Sword. I can't do that. Why can't I upgrade the shrines? I know why I can't upgrade the frickin'. I couldn't buy more weapon things, but why couldn't I upgrade the shrines? Uh, are there any curses on the clan, O oh, ancestors? Omens were vague. Too few farmers to handle anything in the universe. Berserker helps us kill as many as possible. Uh, trolls rushed us. Shadows of were Deadly shadows. Hastily lit torches. Uh, go where the fighting is worst. Fought a duel with a strange troll magician who stank like a hundred dead cattle. She had chosen a var as her special prey and hounded him with great snaking coils of solid darkness. He ran for his life and only barely escaped. Dangerous. But we killed more trolls. And he is wounded now, right? Is, is that what I'm seeing? Yes. How many people are wounded? Just him? And only six people are sick, so it's not worth a sacrifice. I do think I'm going to recruit some more weapon bands, though. Okay, we actually made a profit in food. Broke even on horses, or cows, got more horses, and a lot more sheep. I, I guess increasing the pasture size really helped. The sheep are just multiplying. Okay, one more year. 